this video we're going to see how to create some graphs using our computer with a free online graphing calculator called GeoGebra spelled G-E-O-G-E-B-R-A and if you search GeoGebra online you want the first site that comes up web.geogebra.org I'm going to click on that and for just using the graphing calculator features the algebra button is going to be sufficient. All right, so here's a nice graphing calculator graph window and input screen on the left. And we're going to see how to do a basic graph now for a linear function. So I have an example from the book and uh, the function is m of t equals negative 400 t plus 3500. And so we just type that in as you see it, capital M parentheses T equals negative 400 T plus 3,500. And then go ahead and hit enter. It will actually draw a graph of that. Now, a lot of times with really large or really small numbers, you won't see the graph with the standard viewing window. So there's a nice trick to get GeoGebra to find a good viewing window. And to do that we're going to open up the style bar so toggle that with the button the circle and triangle and then the third button in from the left is a little house for the home window settings. Click on the button to the right with the triangle and circle to get it resized for the graph you've put in. You can also use the cursor, hold left click and drag and drop this graph around and you can use the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in. Additionally you can set a specific window using the settings menu which is the gearbox button. We can add a grid by hitting the second button in from the left. Next thing we want to do is to get the line looking the way we want. And if we right click on the function equation and then select object properties, we can then change the color of the line, say make it red. Or you can change the thickness of the line to make it a little easier to see. And we can have a label for it. And so we'll just label it with the equation. And show label as the caption. So there's a nice label for it. All right, so the next thing we want to do is to find the intercepts on this line. And the nice thing about GeoGebra is we can easily create and manipulate these geometric objects on here. So up at the top we have the ability to create points. So we click on point and then let's go ahead and put a point right at the M intercept. This is sort of the vertical intercept here. All right. And then we'll put one at the horizontal intercept. So we can label these two intercepts pretty easily. And we can have these points be changed color or size if we want. Go ahead and right click on those object properties. Um, but what I want to do is just uh, make the label be their value. So we see the ordered pairs for the coordinates of the point appear. And we can just switch to B and do the same thing with B, switch the va label to value and get that to show up. So, so now the two intercepts are marked on the graph. The last thing we want to do is to label the axes and we can do this from the settings menu. Remember that's the gearbox button. And we go to x-axis and y-axis we have the option for label and units. And that really depends on the problem. So let's go back to this problem 
where you see that the input, which is sort of your x in this problem, is t, and t is the time in weeks. So for a label, we can put t, comma, time, and we'll do weeks. For the y-axis, the uh, vertical axis, the output is M, and that's the money remaining in dollars. So label that M money remaining, and then put dollars. So now the two axes are both labeled. All right, and the graph looks pretty good. Uh, there's certainly other ways to spruce it up. I feel that you can uh, explore those on your own. But what you want to do is ultimately be able to take this as a file and upload it for an assignment. Or in the future, maybe put this into a paper or presentation. In order to do that, you're going to access the main menu in the top right with the three horizontal bars. Click on that and then we want to do export. And we're going to export this as a PNG which is an image file format. So give this a name. So I'll just call it money graph and then hit export and you will download the PNG file. Opening up the file, you see that it's not interactive, but it's a very nice version of what we just created. And that's ready to be copied and pasted into a document or uploaded right into My Open Math for an assignment. Now, this is just a basic linear equation with no fractions, right, with whole numbers. Um, certainly, the equations could get more complicated. When you need to do a quadratic, uh, use shift 6 to get to an exponent, same as what you would do with uh, the equation editor. If you need to make a fraction, just use parentheses around the numerator. and parentheses around the denominator. You can see it forms a nice fraction there. And if you need something like a square root, uh, there seems to be a button here for it. And then you should be able to hit enter to get a new graph. So again, we can get a better window for this graph, depending on what it looks like. So you can use this to produce graphs for later assignments. Um, and uh, if there's some special feature that needs to be explained a little more, I'll do that. But that's it for this one.